Hi, I'm Scotty. Welcome to Scotty's Clock World. Today we're going to prepare and clean the part of the Glockenspiel Model 107 and clock movement and we're going to clean them in an ultrasonic cleaner. So let's get started. First I'll cut a piece of brass wire to hang the parts on. I think it's about 22 gauge. Size doesn't matter particularly. Sufficient to hold the parts when we screw the end together and the parts don't fall off into the bottom of the ultrasonic cleaner. We'll start off with the strike side with the barrel and the barrel cap we'll put those together first thread the wire through the holes in the barrel and then put the cap on the top screwing both the ends of the wire together to hold them in one piece we're doing the strike side first now the other piece of wire we'll put the wheels on and various other parts, brass parts from the front of the clock. We'll put another couple of wheels on now and then some of the wheels that are used in combination to wind up the clock with, through the winding arbor. Now the fly, fit that through, it only just fits through, has a small hole in it. And now the gathering pallet, that'll just fit on. Tighten the wire and it's all done, ready to go into the ultrasonic cleaner. That's the parts, all tied up there. Now the next step, we're going to use an infusion tea strainer to put the small parts in that will be easily lost into the bottom of the ultrasonic cleaner. The basket in the ultrasonic cleaner is made of 10mm mesh wire and small parts and nuts that hold the two plates together can easily fall through because they're much smaller. We'll now prepare the chime side parts for the cleaner. Cut another piece of wire and we'll thread the wheels through, same as we did on the strike side. Now the chime count wheel, we'll thread that onto the wire just taking the barrel and the barrel cap out so I can see what else is left in the container. Another wheel, one of the wheels used to wind up the spring. There's a piece that goes over the top of it to hold it all together. And lastly the fly. Just fits on the piece of wire. Now tie them up together and the wheels are finished. Another small container to put the brass nuts in that hold the plates together. Cut another piece of wire so we can tie the barrel and the barrel cap together. Put the wire through the holes in the barrel, then put the cap on top and tighten it down. Now move all the prepared pieces aside so we can put a dish down and then take the mesh container out of the ultrasonic cleaner to put the parts in.
we'll put the parts from the chime side in first the barrel small container with the nuts in it and then the strike side barrel small parts container and the bundle of wheels Now we'll put the mesh container into the ultrasonic cleanup. Put the top on and start it up. We'll set it at 30 degrees for five minutes and then let it run. We've removed the parts from the ultrasonic cleaner, take them out of the kitchen for the next part of the operation. We're filling a tub here with water so we can wash the ultrasonic cleaner fluid off the clock parts. Put all the parts into the dish with clean water. And swirl them around a bit to remove the cleaning fluid. Now fill another dish with water. We're going to transfer all the parts into the other dish in a moment for the final wash before we put them into a tray of shellite or lighter fluid that will remove the last of the water from the pieces that we have just washed. Transfer the piece we've just washed into the new bowl of clean water. Swirl them round to remove any remaining cleaning fluid on them. Place the rest of the parts into the final clean dish. Swirl them round a little bit. Now we'll put the remainder in there. Barrel and cap. And the pile of wheels. We'll now fill another dish with shellite or lighter fluid and then transfer the parts from the final cleaning water into the dish of shellite which will remove any remaining water on the part. Shake the parts in the shellite when you place them in there this helps to remove the water. Now remove the parts from the shellite, place them on a rag where some of the shellite will evaporate off. Remove the final parts of the movement and put them into the shellite. Now using a hot air blower on low, evaporate the remaining shellite from each of the parts in turn.
final run over all the parts with a hot air blower and we're finished. Take the parts back to the workbench, lay them out and we're ready to start the next part of the operation which is putting the movement together and checking for end play and to see what condition the bushes are in. Place the parts from the chiming train and the strike train into their individual containers so that when we put them back together they won't get mixed up. 